I'll use the force. Watch, I'm gonna use the force. You ready? See that? It's not just the Skywalkers who can do that. The bug farmers can do it too. Watch. Woo! <laughs> hey, bug farmers. Welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. Hi, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we're at the home bee yard and I've actually got a helper in the bee yard with me. My wife is here and she's going to be going through the army bee barn. And then when she's finished, I'm going to go through uh, the sage bee barn all the way up through the red one here. And we're gonna check for brood, food, stores, and just see basically the overall health of the hive. Now we are going to check inside the Crynock hive to see if they've made a queen cell because we did steal their queen and put her back on the back bench in a nuke and it's still back there. And we will jump in there to make sure that everything's going okay. But other than that, that's that's the plan for the day. So we're going to turn this hive over to my wife, let her get started. You're not going to see a lot of this inspection, not on this channel, but you can go to her channel and look at it. We will give you the update as far as what happened here, though. Uh, so with all that said, let me bring my wife in. She's going to get started. I'm going to step out of the way. You probably should have a, ha a hat I should, on. I should probably have a hat on. You should on. probably have a veil on. Look. Do you see that? No, she's got to be on her face. All right. Here's your stuff. You got your hive tool let me get my veil on and uh it's you now let me just give you some uh some information here the queen is not in the top two boxes what you want to check on the top two boxes. all right so this hive here is going to be busy 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 so i expect i expect a lot of action here this hive actually if they have a queen cell in here i will probably split this or draw a nuke off of it but we will see it's a little early for queen cells the nectar flow has just started but again this hive here is not going to be happy so I'm coming in. I can tell you that right now. I already know. All right. Okay, that is heavy. This is wet. That means there's a lot of respiration going on in here. Oh, it's roaring already. I can hear it. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Beautiful. Let's see what it is that we can see there you go there you go just me just me you haven't seen me for a couple of months actually none of the bees in here know me except the queen okay okay i don't want to roll anybody okay, what do we have happen anything there we have some girls on there that comb is kind of old. They're not polishing anything up, but I can tell you what I do see. Oh, I see a hive beetle. Let me grab it really quick. My goal is to stay on top of the hive beetle situation this year. Completely and totally on top of the hive beetle situation. That is the goal. Now, I can tell you this. I can share some news with you. Now, I'm not going to show you the frames yet, but somebody actually sent me some frames that they had built for the bee barns and they are fantastic frames i have more beetles on this side go ahead and get them really quick about six of them off of there anyways there is a there is a youtuber out there who has actually built some bee barn frames that, that they print out on their 3d printer and they're fantastic he's got a few more modifications to make and then I think they're going to send me a finished one. And when that happens, I will let you know where you can get them and uh, what they look like. But so far, they're good. I've got one of them put together up in my shop. I've got three more that I can put together. So you may see me using them. But I won't give you an in-depth look at them until, ooh, until I know that they're done. Boy, I tell you what, I just had a bee trying to get in my suit. That scared the heck out of me. They were right in my ear. All right, let's see what we have here. Ooh, now we're getting into the bees and we have a lot of nectar these girls are finding some nectar out there now it may be the red maples they're blooming it may be the plum trees right there in the uh, in the yard um a lot of bee bread on here i do see uh, some winter bees i mean i see some fat big ones in there still 
that are uh, female workers. Let's see if we have the queen on here. Put these girls back down to the hive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all of the brood is centered in the middle of this hive. Well, I'm done. Now I see some, some drone cells down at the bottom and some kept worker brood. So the worker brood's right here. We've got drone cells right here. So that means it is spring and they're trying to get the drones in the environment so that they can swarm their queens. Oh, we have a lot of milk brood on here as well. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I don't know whether the camera can pick it up. It's right there. All of that. We're getting close to the queen. Primarily because we're halfway through the hive. Oh, that's a beautiful frame. Look at that. Well, at least on my side. I don't know what you're seeing. Well, it's still nice. Look at this. It's all brood. I do not see the queen, but this is older brood, so she laid this frame a while ago. Let's look at the other side. It's a nice full frame. Right here. And she's even moved down into here. Let's see if there's any eggs. I do not see any eggs. Nor do I see the queen. Here we go. Let's have a look. Okay, I have more brood on this side and more brood on this side. All well, that's brood. I don't see a queen cell. I don't see any more drone eggs. They were only in that other one. Probably should pick that cattywampus comb off right there, but they're enjoying it. I'll let them keep it. They're being artsy fartsy. Sometimes they do that. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't see the queen yet. I suspect she's going to stand out. But I can tell you this, with all of this buildup that they're doing, they do have swarming on the mind. That is for sure. So the minute I see a queen cell, what we will do is uh, pull, a, uh, pull a nuke off of this colony. Take the queen and put her back on the back bench with the cry not queen. They can hang out together, be friends. What do we have here? Okay. Okay, that's another good looking frame. There's our queen right there. There she is. She's not painted, but I don't have my, I got my paints, but I just don't have my, my cage. All right. So put her in here really quick, and then we'll go ahead and close this hive up, move on to the next one. Oh, yeah. So this is Juno. They were, um, Juno was a little bit obnoxious last time I was in this hive. All right, here we go. Hello, I'm home. Okay, so what we have happening here, well, the bees are mostly concentrated on this side of the hive. These are not a lot going on here. These three frames are almost nothing going on, I would imagine. But this side of the hive, and I also see some ants here. Go ahead and I gotta fill my ant moats down there. Haven't done that yet this year. We're getting close to the queen. I can smell her. Not really. I can, I can feel it. There's the brood. A whole bunch of drone brood on the backside here. There's a drone walking around. There's some worker brood and some drone brood. Let me uh, have a look at this frame. See if I see any eggs in there. There we go. Let's have a look. Yes, I have eggs. I have a lot of eggs on this frame. Let me have a queen on this frame. I'll look. You can look. We can all look. Look for a queen. Don't see her there. But we do have eggs on this frame. Flip it over. More eggs on. There's our queen right there. She's she's painted. Right there. She's a small one. She's doing her thing. So we're gonna put her back in the hive. There you go. Put you back in the hive. Alright, that's a win. Go Juno. Now let's get into the purple hive. 
see how they're doing. All right, let's look at the purple hive. Hey, what? I can't wait till we get the Primark bees next door. I'm hoping I find a big old fat queen cell or five in there. That will be awesome. All right, ladies. Let's see what we have going on here. All right, so looking at the hive. Busy frame, busy frame, busy frame, busy frame, busy frame, busy frame, busy frame. Not so busy. So we're going to start on this side. Here we go. Slow and steady. Don't roll anybody. Woo! Okay. Keep our eyes peeled for hive beetles. Again. Oh, yeah, there they are. We got hive beetles. Check the other side really quick. Oh yes, we have more here. There's quite a few on this frame. Maybe this was Beetle Jail, I hope. This is a beautiful frame, all brood, both sides, here and on the other side. Let's look for a queen. She may be there. We'll play a game, see if you can find her before me. You probably will. You can pause, I can't. You can pause and rewind and all that fun stuff. I can't do that. I'm doing it in real time. Okay. A good looking frame. A lot of food on top and capped brood on the bottom. That looks like it's about to let go any day now. We have a whole bunch of baby bees. I don't see any eggs. Chances are the queen is not there. The next frame looks like solid brood. I can see it from here. Yeah, right. Oh, that is a oh, that's a beautiful frame of bees. It's a big old drone right there. All right, have a look, see if you can find her. You look, I'll look. We'll all look together. Ooh, a lot of brood. To be honest, I don't even need to find her in this uh, hive. I know that she's here. I just need to make sure that we don't have any swarm cells. All right, we're gonna flip it over. Have a gander. Do you see her? I don't see her. I see evidence. I see that she's been here. All right. That is another gorgeous frame. It's all brood, all the way down there, all the way up here, top and bottom. Oh, 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 there's our queen, and look at her. Did you see that? The wife just came in and found the queen before me. There she is, right there. Fantastic. Good eyeball. Okay. Both of them. <laughs> good, job. good job, honey. Well, we know our queen is there. Look at that. Look at that. I'll show you the other side. Let me show you the other side of this frame really quick. And then we'll put her back in the hive. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, we're putting her back in there. Some good eyeballs. Look at that. You picked her. My wife picked the queen out from 30 feet away. I'm not 30 feet away. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, no swarm cell there. Oh, don't want to do that. Don't want to anger the bees. No swarm cells there. I do have girls dying to get into my hat. I can hear them. They're buzzing. Look at the last one and we'll put these girls away. You pass, ladies. A plus. A plus. Nothing going on there. Just food there. No queen cell. All right. You win. I'm out. I'm out. More food. Excellent. I see you there. Don't put the banana on me right in my face. That's what usually gets them all going. 
now the hive we've all been waiting for. Let's get into the Krynok hive. Now they're, they have no queen, so they're gonna be angry. Maybe I should do the Sage hive first. Save the Krynok hive for the finale. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna skip Krynok, go to Sage, and then we'll go to Krynok and maybe we can start the, the season with a Stingometer. We don't wanna do that. All right, I still have guards on me from the purple hive. And they're on that camera. At least they're not on that mic. Okay, here we go. Now this was the weakest hive coming out of winter and it still looks weak. I mean, there's some dead bees on the front of it. I, I hope they're not a dead out. All right, I see bees. It's still weak. Ish, weak ish. Um, it looks like the bees start on this frame and end on this frame. So we've got three frames with minimal or no bees on there. We have time. Okay, that's just a heavily waxed a new frame for them to draw out. Nothing happening there. I hope we don't have a lot of hive beetles in here. My beetle sucker's all the way over there and I'm not like stretch. I can't reach over and grab it. Plastic man. That's who it was. Plastic man. I used to watch that when I was a kid. Super friends. I liked Plastic Man. Not as much as I like Green Lantern, that was my favorite. But Plastic Man was all right in my book. All right, this is all bee bread. So I'll tell you something that's neat. You might hear a goose in the background honking. I've had a huge goose problem. They kept getting into my yard, eating my grass, just tearing it up. Well, I found this goose fence. It's like a three foot fence. I put it around the lake on my side of the lake here. And for the last week and two days, no geese have been in my yard, but I've got a goose floating offshore thinking, man, the buffet is up there and they want to come eat all this green grass. They can't get to it. So there you go. Oh, hive beetle. I use the force. Watch, I want to use the force. You ready? See that? It's not just the skywalkers who can do that. The bug farmers can do it too. Watch. Woo! All right, a lot of brood there. We may have a queen on this frame. Maybe I should look. Have a gander. Tell me what you see. So now my wife, her eyes are keen on this frame. She's right there, right off, right off camera. And she's got her eyes peeled. She wants to find that queen before me. Yep, her eyes are peeled. Oh, I just heard a... Sounds like a small pipe, but that's not, there's no way we have a pipe and queen in here. No way. Let's go to the next frame. The next frame has a lot of brood on it. Let's see what's happening on it. Yeah, right. Where are you at? A lot of brood. Now this frame is light. There's no honey on it at all. Only brood. Very light frame. Let's see if the queen is on this side. You see her? So you're not just racing me, you're, you're racing the wife. She's on it. She is on it. She's got a win under her belt already. She's hungry for it. I feel like I almost never see him. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You deal. found her quick. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And you, actually, and you also found the queen in the army hive looking down on the frame. And that's another good way of finding the queen. I always kind of try to look down this way because you can pick her off. She's taller than the other bees and the way that she wanders around it's easier to see her sometimes just looking down in the hive at your next frame that's coming out okay I don't see anything happening here well now we have a little bit of brood it's all hidden by bees there there it is let's see if I see any eggs oh, I see larva and a lot of open brood okay well she may be on this frame or the next one let's have a gander there I don't see her Oh yeah, I do. There she is, right there. There she is. All their paint has been eaten off. I've got to come up with some different paint. The markers that I'm using just don't seem to be doing the trick. They're not doing the trick. The, the, the bees lick it off too quick. Oh, I can smell. These girls have been on the plum tree. I can smell it. I can smell it wafting up out of there. The plum trees smell awesome. I just smelled it. Coming out of this hive. Are you ready? The moment we've all been waiting for. 
All right, here you go. I feel like Gene Simmons before a Kiss concert. You wanted the best, now you've got the best. It's the Crynock bees. I'm sure that makes Crynock happy, but these are good bees. They're just a little bit sketch sometimes. They, uh, they like to get you. These bees have an attitude. And remember, they don't have a queen in here. We know they don't because they can't get a queen in two weeks. So they are queenless, which means they're gonna be aggravated. Hello, oh, I see a hive beetle. Oh, I got you. Oh, oh, there's a lot of hive beetles here. This hive, every frame is packed. Every single frame has a ton of bees on it. And again, they're not going to be happy bees. They're, they're being calm so far, which is surprising. It's, uh, slow and steady wins this race. Maybe they're happy because they know they have a queen in the, in the works, but the last time I was here, I stole their queen. So they may have bad memories of me. Slow and steady. Slow. We don't want to. We don't want to smash any queen cell that we may have in there. Uh, I see one right there. Excellent. Okay, Crynock. Two great queen cells. Okay, I don't know what's on this side. Nothing there, but look at this. There's one right there. Oh, that one is that one's got something in it but it's uh it's one of those long ones that usually don't uh, don't pan out mm -hmm. but that's a nice one right there all right now the bees are on me they're not having it but i know that they got a queen cell let's see if they have more than one i feel a breeze on the back side we don't want the any bees flying in the old crevasse all right And we have no queen cell on that side. Brood is hatching out. No queen cell on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and make quick work of this. Not gonna take the time to show you. I see what looks like a queen cell on this next frame. All right, let's have a look here. All right, not a queen cell. This is just a cattywampedness here. A lot of drone brood. No queen cell there. No queen cell there. Uh-oh. So far, only really one viable cell. It's a nice one. We have actually two, but one's not capped, and it looks pretty sketch. But we'll keep looking. Okay, that is all brood capped. There's another queen cell. Let's see if it's uh, charged. It is charged, so they're making one right here. On this side we have big Zilcherino. Eh, not too bad. Just heavy on the top. All right. I do not see a queen. Well, wait a second. Yep, there's another queen cell right there. That's capped. That's a good one. And another one right next to it that they're uh, they're giving royal jelly, so they're making a few. Oh, there's a nice full frame of brood. That was all too old to make queen cells out of, so there's no queen cell there. And there isn't one on the back side. You're gonna have to trust me. All right, and this is oh, mostly capped brood and. Drone cells, no queen cell on that frame. And we will look at the last one here. This hive is killing it. So let me tell you, I don't know what Crynox Bee Weaver Bees mated with. And if you have Bee Weaver Bees, maybe this is just how they are. And if that's the case, that is a good line of bees. Oh, look at that, that's a beautiful frame. There might be, there's a couple queen cells right there in the top. And 
and another one right here 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 but those are smaller but they do have queen cells so what we're going to do is we're going to put all the queen cells together in the middle so I know right where they are when I'm checking put these frames back down in the hive we don't want to damage those queen cells a lot of brood but no queen cells on it right down here now, if anything gets hurt it's not a queen <laughs> all right that's it fantastic all right we're done and I'm covered in bees so I tell you what we're going to do I was going to go through the Crynock nuke. I'm just going to let them sit back there. It's still kind of chilly today. And I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to chill any brood that they've got. So we're just going to. We're just going to call it a day here. Tomorrow it's supposed to be nicer, and I am going to be at the farm. So I'll film that as well. Anyways, everything looks fantastic. My wife has got a Hawkeye. We're going to have to give her a nickname now because she picked that queen out of just out of thin air. She jumped in there, and there was the queen. She found it. Very proud of her for that. Um, I bet she even found it before you because I just pulled that frame out and she was on it. Anyways, with all that said, I think we accomplished the goal today. Everybody's in great shape. Cronite girls have several queens to choose from or queen cells to choose from. I know they're going to make a good one, so all is right with the world. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So all that said, be happy. I will see you next week. Take care.